guys welcome to be good farm and welcome to my extended flower patch <laughs> come with us as we prepare our flower space this is 80 by 90 and it'll probably take a couple weeks to get all this done um, so enjoy there's gonna be lots of time lapses <laughs> That's all we're going to be able to do for day one and uh, it's pretty good so actually day two so the first day we got all of this till the whole area is about 90 by 80 um, so quite a big area we're expanding like four times from last year <laughs> so we'll see if we can keep up with all the work uh, so far for today we've um, gotten one row of the perimeter row uh, done and the back row and then we're going to get the center row really helps to have um, a post and a string line to get straight lines. Um, you don't have to measure too much just um, just to get straight rows. We've done this in our uh, vegetable garden and it worked out just fine. So once we get this center row done, then we're going to start making aisles because um, all the rows are going to run this way because this is uh, south and that's the so it's best to have a north to south orientation if you can help it uh, for the sunlight. So that's how we're going to do it. That's day two. 
Uh, that's a lot of really good work done. The kids are awesome. So. <laughs> So I'm going to show you what we did for day three, prepping the new flower garden expansion. Uh, we've been able to shuffle some more rows. Right now we have a total of 12 rows finished, plus the sunflower uh, rows. Uh, let me turn you around and I'll show you what we've done. So when we had it tilled, uh, we dug a center aisle. This is four foot wide. And so we haven't done all this and we've started to make rows for back end. So these are three foot wide beds and two and a half foot walkways. I prefer three foot, but with the space that we have, I needed some extra rows. Uh, so we went with two and a half foot and that got me the extra rows that I needed. Here's the back six and the other back six we have along the fence. This is the sunflower row and there's another one going across the other fence that way. This has taken us uh, three days. So if you see we have each row, you can see we're at quite a bit of a slope. So uh, it's angled. So when we're digging the rows, uh, we'll shovel from one walkway onto the row behind it. And then we'll shovel the next walkway and throw it on the row behind it all the way up. And so that gives us a little bit of a raised bed to help with drainage because we do have some really wet seasons. And then when we're shoveling, so because we're on a slope that goes this way, we're shoveling so that the bed it looks like triangular here. So if you see, it's taller here, tall here, and it goes shorter. So this end is about two inches. This end is about four inches so that each bed is level. So when we put the drip tape on it, the drip tape, um, the water from that, won't just spill off and into the walkways. So, and if we had put the rows the other way, you know, all the plants in the front in the up at the top of the hill wouldn't get enough water and then we'd have too much water at the end. So we have another eight more uh, beds to complete out there and we'll be finished. So maybe two or three more days of shoveling. Looks pretty good though. The kids are really great workers. So I wanna show you how we're organizing this. So we have a string line here. It's just a white line, okay? You can get this, uh, pick it up at a hardware store. It's on a reel. And we have one for each of the four corners. That bed one, and then all the way over here, that corner at the very edge and the one way back. So 
each one of those, there's a string that covers the whole rectangle this way. Okay. And then in the middle, we have uh, two posts with a string that shows the end of the row all the way down the center aisle on both sides. And the same is on um, the other side. We have it, another one marking the end of the row there and the end of the row on the other side. And what we'll do to you be able to, to make sure that each bed and row is the same size, we have these other string lines here. You can see where they cross. And so we have this string line and it has another one of the blue posts there. And so if you see the posts for the ends of the beds are underneath and the ones that go across to make the beds, they go on top. And so when we finish shoveling out a walkway, we will pick up both ends of the post. One person will be on this end and the other one will be on the other end. We'll pick it up at the same time, tell everybody to duck because we usually have people working in the rows and we'll walk it over, we'll measure and we'll put it over here to begin the next aisle. So here we are at the end of the road row. This is the um, fence and then sunflowers will be here and then we have a three foot walkway and we have our posts with our string line here it's underneath the perimeter line and this line goes all the way across over the center line to another post just like this and so when this is finished you just simply pick this up you pick it up and then you can move it Put above the other posts and set it down where it needs to go and to be able to make sure that we're measuring correctly i just i had this laying around so i marked out three foot three foot you see that line so i marked out with a marker three foot and what we'll do is we'll just put it between We'll just put it between the two posts and that's how we'll measure. And then I have a second one that's smaller. This is two and a half feet. And so instead of having to take out the tape measure and measure every single one, we just have a little guide that helps us to make the process go much faster, way more efficient. So that's how we mark out our rows. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Uh, after we get our rows done, then we, we go through and we, the kids have buckets and they go through and they just get the obnoxious rocks. Because we're in Arkansas, this is clay soil. You can see um, it's been tilled really well. There's still tons of rhizomes, tons of grass. It's a monster. It's terrible. I, I had to battle this in my vegetable garden. Uh, we're going to be putting woven weed fabric over it and it will help kill a bunch of the grass and keep it at bay where we're not going to be growing. Um, otherwise, we'd have to pick out all the weeds. And I don't have enough time to tarp it, otherwise I would, because a silage tarp would kill all the grass underneath. I don't have time for that, so we're just gonna put the woven weed fabric over that and weed inside the holes. Well, this is day three. It's very bright. Thanks for coming along and we'll finish up the journey on getting this flower filled, uh, ready to go for flowers this season and part two.